when I see a hockey player look at my backflip and be like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. The people that made fun of me were a lot of hockey players. My name is Elaj Balde. I am a professional figure skater. I've competed for Team Canada for uh, over a decade. Now during this COVID time, I uh, started making videos on social media. If that's the fear, then uh, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I've smashed my head a few times and that led to concussions. I've injured myself in, in many ways, but no, I'm, I'm not scared of breaking my neck. It's a sense of freedom that you don't necessarily feel when you're just running or walking. So yeah, very, very liberating. The best music to skate to for me is music that makes me feel something. You know, it's a hip hop song that makes my soul on fire or it's a song that makes me want to move and it gives me a sense of freedom. I was 13 years old. Um, we were in Halifax and um, it was really cold and it had rained and the roof of the hotel froze. And so myself and a few other skaters, we decided to grab a pair of skates and go get on the roof and, uh, and skate. Skate on the roof of the hotel. We got in trouble, but um, that was the craziest place I've ever skated, I think. For the longest time, I didn't have necessarily a sense of identity or where I fit in. And I learned how to be who I needed to be in order to please you know, judges or our Team Canada or Team Quebec. It, it was a long journey of not believing in myself and not truly feeling connected to myself and to what I feel like is authentic to me. People get bullied or made fun of for being figure skaters, made to feel shame and, and being made fun of for being in a sport that is what society says it's a it's a girl's sport. It's, it's something that I, I personally have taken on as a mission to, to change that perspective in people. It's, it's okay for a boy to be vulnerable and for a boy to want to express himself, be an artist. And it takes a lot of courage to do that. In my opinion, it's one of the hardest sports to do because it requires such a fine balance between athleticism and artistry. You know, you have to be extremely powerful, you rotate four times and then land on a, on a little piece of blade, but then at the same time, make people feel things and move and, and tap into emotions. Your mind, body, spirit connection that is overlooked. And that's the perspective that I'm trying to shift. So FSDIA is a group of skaters that came together that committed to uh, increasing representation and accessibility for the BIPOC community. I really encourage them to recognize and develop what is unique about them. Use that as a tool to express themselves and use that as a tool to separate themselves from the mass. Thank you everyone for the support. It's giving me the fuel that I need to continue to inspire. And uh, whoever's watching this, if it inspires you to pursue your passion, if it inspires you to embrace what's unique about you and share your gift with the world, I found my purpose and, and fulfillment. And, uh, and I encourage everyone to do that.